Hey everyone, this is Paul again with another demo video for all, all of our SQL Skills Insider friends. I'm recording this demo video in London and I'm actually sitting in a hotel looking out over one of the busy runways at Heathrow Airport. If you go to my Facebook page and look on Sunday, um, June 19th, you'll see a Facebook album I posted of a whole bunch of different planes, different airlines that we saw during the day while I was sitting here working. Anyway, to the video. So, uh, in a couple of the newsletters over the last few months, I've mentioned weight stats, and I've done a few blog posts about weight stats, latch statistics, spin lock statistics, again over the last couple of months. And I'm going to do a blog post about how to look at the weight stats that are generated for a single query, rather than everything that's going on in a system. You might be wanting to dig in and profile a particular query to figure out what weight stats are being generated. So I thought it would make a pretty good demo to record for you guys. So this is what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a little scenario. So I've got a production database. You can tell it's production. It's a joke because it's called production, of course. Haha. <laughs> And I'm going to create a table with a couple of non-clustered indexes, stick in a couple of thousand rows in there. It takes just a few seconds to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush out the buffer pool so it doesn't have anything from this database in there. And what I need to do to be able to look at the extent, uh, sorry, the weight stats for a particular query, I'm going to connect up using this particular connection. I need to know the speed of this connection because I'm going to define an extended event session that filters just on this particular connection. So I need to look at my speed here. So speed 54. So now what I'll do is I'm going to define my extended event session. So SQL Server keeps track of weight statistics as we all know and whenever a weight begins and whenever a weight ends there is an extended event that fires. So what I can do is, first of all, run this code. This just goes out and gets rid of any old files I've got sitting on the file system. Good, there is none there. What I'm going to do is create this event session that monitors those. Now, if I want to monitor one particular query, just by looking at the aggregated weight stats from sys.doms weight stats, I can't do that because it's going to pick up all the weights that are occurring for everything going on in the server. So then the only way I can do this is to use extended events. So first off, I'm going to drop my event session. And then here's the event session I'm going, to, I'm going to create. So I'm creating the event session for the server, and I'm looking at the wait info event from the SQL OS event package. And I'm going to filter. So I've got a predicate where the session ID is 54, which is the one I got from the other window. I'm sticking everything out to an asynchronous file target, and I want to make sure things get flushed out at least every one second rather than waiting for the, the asynchronous target buffers to fill up. So I go ahead and create my event session. Then I start the session up and go off and do my query that I want to profile. So over my other connection, SPID54, I want to profile an index rebuild and see what that does. So I'm doing an index rebuild of the clustered index from that production database that I created. So this will just take a few seconds to do the rebuild. Okay, three seconds. So we go back over to my event session window. And I'm going to stop the session. So we've created a whole bunch of weights when we did that rebuild because no matter what, no matter what tuning you do in your system, you're always going to get weights occurring. But I want to see exactly what weights and what um, proportion of different kinds of weights were generated by my index rebuild. So first off, uh, in, the, in the, the asynchronous target file that I had, did it collect any events? Well, of course it did, but how many did it collect? 4,800 events. So 4,800, well, almost 4,900 um, weights occurred while we were running that index rebuild. So I'm going to do some processing on them now. First of all, I'm going to create a, a temporary table to read the events from the file into the temporary table. and then pull all the events into the temporary table so I can do some aggregation on them. There's various ways you can do the aggregation. This is a method that Jonathan Caius, who is part of SQL Skills, showed me how to do. And then looking at the actual weights. So it's xQuery to pull the, the weights out of the XML blobs, sorry, the, the events out of the XML blobs that are generated by extended events. So this is pulling out all the information.
So, what we can see is we're getting the time the event, the, the weight occurred at, we're getting what type of weight it was, we're getting the beginning and the ends, the duration, and so on and so on. Now, I don't want to have to look through all of my 4,800 rows, so I want to do some aggregation. Actually, there wasn't 4,900 weights because every one is a begin and an end. There was only actually 2,450. We captured 4,900 events, but there's two events per weight. So 2,450 weights. So now taking all this and putting it inside a derived table so I can do some aggregation on it. And I can get a look at all the events that were calculated that were um, occurring, that is, for a, this particular query. So, for an index rebuild, the majority of the weights that we got were for latch EX, and then we had some parallelism weights because the, the query ran in parallel, and we had a whole bunch of IOs going on, and so on and so on. We generated some logs, we saw log buffer weights. So, kind of interesting. Now, if I was doing this in a production system, this is the only way that I could be able to profile a particular query to see exactly what was going on. So, very kind of short demo this time compared to what I've talked about last time. The blog post accompanying this will come out in another few weeks, probably once we get back to the, the US next week. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching and thanks for being a SQL Skills Insider. Until next time, bye-bye.